Hey everybody, so today we're going to be talking about some YouTubers and their rise to fame. How did they get famous and how you can do it too. So, if that's interesting to you, just keep watching. everybody how are my glow tarts doing today I hope everybody's well for those of you that are new my name is Mandy and welcome to the video I've been wanting to do this video for so long it is just something that just really interests me other than makeup which well uh, this is still makeup I mean they are beauty gurus that we're talking about today what we are doing is I have done my research and I have found out where their fame come from I have got seven beauty gurus that we are talking about today. We are going to pinpoint how they got famous. And we're also going to dig deeper to see how we can do it too. Guys, let's go ahead and jump into the video. All right, guys. So first, I'm going to talk about the beauty gurus that we have got. We're going to talk about how we can do it too. The first one on the list is Laura Lee. I know you have heard her name before. I know everybody has heard her name. She was one that I have watched for years. She was one of my inspirations for starting my own channel. And you'll probably hear that a lot during this video. I don't want to hear it down in the comment sections. I don't like so-and-so and I don't like so-and-so. These are people that I watched. These are people that taught me. As of right now, Laura has got 4.9 million subs on her channel. And the video that made her famous was her 15 back to school heatless hairstyles. Now, this video just rose her to fame. It gained 2.5 million views in under two months. This video she done in 2015 and where she is at now, it's just amazing. And you know, Laura has really got a unique personality. She's bubbly and she is just like a little country bumpkin, just like myself. The next one on the list is a Manny MUA or Manny Mua is what some people call him. Now, right now, Manny is sitting on 5.2 million subs, which is awesome. The way he got his start was actually Patrick Starr. Him and Patrick Starr become friends, and of course, ergo, here comes Manny MUA. He also got his rise of fame from video creators. You know what? There's really nothing special about Manny. You know that is how people some people get their big starts is because somebody else that is already up in the rankings, he's okay. I mean, I do like him. I do like watching him. Eh, nothing too flashy. The next one on the list is James Charles. Now, I believe everybody knows where he got his start. Now, right now, James is sitting on 6.4 million subs. And his start, of course, was Instagram. He was really popular on Instagram, and then CoverGirl found him. They made him their first ever cover boy, which congratulations, James. I think that is such an amazing achievement. But it was his high school picture that helped him rise to fame. Can you believe that? That's that's crazy. Next one is Raw Beauty Christy. Now, this is one of my personal favorites. I absolutely love Christy. I watch every single video she puts out. Of course, I have got my bell on for her because I have got to know when she uploads a video. I love her honesty. I just love her personality, period. It's it's just like a magnet to me. But right now, Christy is sitting on 414,000 subs. I think she deserves so much more than that. Christy got her fame from the Nick's Face Awards when she entered that. I can't believe I forgot the year, but I'll put it here somewhere. That is basically where her popularity started to spread because everybody's seeing her work. And as you can tell, her work is beautiful. And I think she does deserve a lot more subs than what she has right now. And she is also friends with Glam and Gore. If you don't know who she is, she is a really good F x makeup channel she's awesome or she used to i don't think she's doing a lot of fx now but of course christy i don't think she needed 
any of that nicks or anything i think she would have been at this point anyways just because of her personality the next one is miss jacqueline hill i mean we couldn't do a video without her right Right now, Miss Jacqueline is sitting on 5.2 million subs. Now, Jacqueline didn't have any special friends or anything like that. Everybody just loved the way that she taught how to do makeup. She just has that infectious personality, the teaching bug, if you will. And everybody just loves her looks. Everybody just fell in love with her. So she got to where she's at for being her. Next one is Nicole Concilio. You know, she loves everything so much. Right now, Nicole is sitting on 793,000 subs. She was an Instagram phenomenon. There was no reason for her to get famous. She just done it all herself. And I know people talk trash about her because she loves everything that she reviews. She doesn't really give bad reviews. And she has said that out of her own mouth. As far as Nicole goes, she done this all herself. Now, I do love watching her. I've got to admit it. I love watching her. And I know she loves every review or what everything she reviews, she loves. But there's just something about her that just makes me feel like I'm sitting on the couch at home with one of my friends and we're just talking about makeup. Now, the last one on the list, and this one isn't like the biggest channel out there or anything. Now, this is Jordan Byers, and I'm pretty sure y'all have heard about her. Right now, she is sitting on 399,000 subs. This is an example of somebody that got their start from drama. Yeah, that's right. First of all, she started gaining popularity with her Brutally Honest Reviews. Any MUA actually started doing Brutally Honest Reviews. So she accused him of stealing her title. And that started a fuss. It sent a shockwave through the drama community. Everybody was talking about Jordan. And that's how she gained the majority of her popularity. Come to find out... She stole Brutally Honest from a smaller YouTuber. And this just so happens to be some I am friends with here on YouTube. And her name is Charisse1307. She is the original creator of Brutally Honest. I'm going to leak Charisse below if you want to go check her out. Her popularity arose from a lot of drama, really. Now is where we're going to get into the good stuff. This is where we talk about how y'all are going to get your channel to blow up. This is where we start right here. First of all, guys, you know I've done a video on this the other day. So I'm going to link that video down below. Go and check it out. It's got some really awesome tips, tricks, hacks, and all that good stuff. But we'll talk about some other ways we could get our channels to blow up in this video. Because after all, that's why we're here. First of all, you know, and I've said this in my last one, you've got to be original. Don't copy nobody. Just be yourself. People that don't like you, let them go. Let them go. They don't need to be there anyways. But of course, you're still going to get a lot of hate watchers anyways. I don't care if you have got the sweetest personality in the world. There are always going to be haters. And especially once you start to gain attraction. Now, I'm not telling you to get on camera and be boring. Well, like me, okay? I don't talk, I don't do anything. Like this in real life, I've just basically, I sit, I be quiet, I stay out of people's business. But I feel like the real me comes out on camera to you guys. This is the real me, okay? So I'm not telling you to fake a personality. I'm just telling you to be yourself. People's going to love you or they're going to hate you. And for the people that hate you, they can go to hell. Um, it's not like you can go to the personality store and purchase a personality. Um, yes, I would like to be happy with a little bit of confidence. Uh, maybe a little bit of discipline. Ma'am. I'm so sorry we are all out of that. All we got is snobby and bitch. Oh, I don't know if that'll work. I'll take it. Truthfully, be yourself. Now, a second way is something a little bit more serious. 
Now, I've just downloaded this app called TubeBuddy. They just start, well, I don't think I just started. I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. They have had it for, for an app on your phone for a little while now. I'm not exactly, don't quote me. I'm not exactly sure how long. It is a really great feature to tie in with your YouTube channel. It can give you tag suggestions title suggestions and kind of show you what your video is going to do. It is absolutely 100% free. So if you have Android, iPhone, or a laptop or a computer or what, get TubeBuddy. Trust me, you will thank me later. Another thing, guys, is listen to your audience. So try to pick a niche. Whatever they are wanting to see you do, that is basically what you do. Make sure you can grab and hold somebody's attention when, because you don't want anybody clicking on your video, subscribing, and not even giving you the watch time because you're just like this through the whole video. Get your ass down there to that personality store. I think I just bought it out though. Another thing, guys, is the thumbnails. Now, I am the worst for this. I am the worst. My thumbnails are shit. They are utter but shit, okay? But if I can do it, y'all can do it. So don't give me none of that crap. Make sure that your thumbnails are catchy. Bright colors. Don't put, a, don't jumble up your thumbnail with a bunch of words and pictures and all this. You know, you just need simple stuff on there most of the time. Now, you can make it colorful and make sure you got bold print on there. Make sure your thumbnail is catchy. I'm also going to let y'all, guys, I'm also going to let y'all in on a little YouTuber secret. Ready for this? We only dress up from our waist up. Like most of us are sitting here in our pajama pants. <laughs> I'm in my jogger pants. Um, and you're lucky that I even got those on because usually I'm just sitting around with my t-shirt underwear on. Or if you're boxer shorts or something like that. But yeah, we, we do. We only dress ourselves up from the waist up and that is it. When the video is off, all this stuff comes off. I have heard of a lot of people selling their soul to the devil for fame. Where he at, though? He he didn't ask me. He didn't ask me. Y'all, oh, I'm just kidding. I would run like hell if I seen something with horns coming toward me. I'm kidding, guys. Don't sell your soul to the devil. No. Matter of fact, if you see him coming, you run too. Run. Don't. Don't be selling your, no, I was kidding. Don't be selling your souls to nobody. Anyways, guys, don't forget to catch that video that I'm linking below. Check out Sharice's channel because she is awesome. She didn't get none of the credit that she deserved. And I'm kind of pissed off about that, Jordan. What's up with that? As small YouTubers, we need love too. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and hit that, hit that thumbs up button. And subscribe to my channel and become part of the Glow Tart family. We would love to have you. And I love you guys so, so much. And I will see you next video. Bye, guys. Run.